Hey guys, it's Jeremy Jacobus here. If you're new, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. So love to see your beautiful faces. This is all about my food adventures all over the world. But this video here today is actually video number three in my Leica saga. If you missed <laughs> video one and two, a quick recap. I bought the new M11 here. Uh, I wanted to buy the new 35 Apple lens and I realized that, well, you couldn't actually get that lens. So then I went and finally got this lens, which is the 35 millimeter uh, 1.4. And then I finally put on my Leica and it didn't work. You can go back and watch those videos, but bless the b and people. After one week of me bringing back the camera, they were able to expedite my new camera and it is here. And I don't want this to be super long because I just want to goddamn turn on the camera and see if I can take a photo. And then the rest of this video, hopefully will be finally the photos for my camera and going through them and my experience using my Leica M11, which is the whole point of, which is the whole video I've been trying to do <laughs> for a very long time. <sighs> Pray, guys. All right. Okay, camera goes on. Menu seems to work. So the problem last time was that the shutter button didn't work, nothing worked, I couldn't get anything to goddamn work. All right, now everything's on ISO. I'm sorry, and right now everything's on automatic. Let's see what happens, switch the dial. Up. Oh, the dial's working, the dial's working. <laughs> okay, yeah. that dial works, let's see here. ISO dial works, okay. So far, so good. Let's see if it actually takes the photo. Here we go, guys. Here we go, finally. We're gonna take a photo, we're gonna take a photo. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, the greatest noise in the whole world. <laughs> I finally was able to take a photo on my Leica. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna mess with it, I'm gonna learn with it, I'm gonna shoot with it, and then we'll come back and chat about the camera. Okay, so it has been about one week with the Leica, and here are just some thoughts. We'll go through some of the photos and just all the like good feelings. Because spoiler alert, that's an amazing camera. Um, first of all, just sort of like using it and feeling it and everything. Like it feels premium. It feels good in the hands. It's such a good satisfaction when you actually take that photo. There's almost nothing like it. Um, you know, I went back and forth sort of like using the rangefinder and using the LCD. I do kind of like that feeling of using the rangefinder, but obviously if you want to really make sure that you're focused, cause it's, you know, you got to train the eye a little bit in there, uh, the LCD and having that and having the, you know, focus assistance in there. Um, but other than that, yeah, it, it felt, it felt great. I went out a few times, just walking around the city, taking photos with it. I will say like, I don't even know if like, people know what Leicas are, what they are, but it it does make me a little nervous having this very, very, very expensive thing around my body. Like, listen, I had it sort of like strapped around me. There's no way for anyone to like actually get it off my body. But I do feel like, ooh, if people knew just how much this was worth right on me, like it was a little odd, a little odd, I'll say, but the photos were just, were just stunning. The photos are absolutely beautiful. We'll, we'll pop them open right now, but you know, like, the colors were so vivid and so beautiful. They they were the, they were so sharp. Um, even the raw files, I thought like you know, I looked at the raw files and I was like, oh, th these like look like they're good to go already. Like all I did was sort of like put a little bit of my own kind of like edit on there, kept it mostly natural, but like just blown away. So let's open up some of these. Thought I was higher. All right, so here's the first photo that I took um, outside my building here in Williamsburg. And as you can see, like, this is the raw photo right here. It looks really beautiful. <laughs> All I did was sort of just like add a little bit more contrast to it. Um, and and that's that's really all it needed. Like, I mean, I could have easily just kind of posted that raw photo too, I guess, but a little more contrast, played with the blues a little bit, made the orange pop. It just, it, it it's stunning. So here's a great photo. You can sort of see, really see that dynamic range. Uh, this is Domino Sugar Factory here, just sort of pointing right up at it. This is the raw photo. And then that's the edited photo. Like, you know, the blues just absolutely pop out of that sky. All that detail, all that color was there. Just had to bring it out a little bit. Um, but just like, 
beautiful. Like these photos obviously don't need much, uh, but it just was so nice. And I will say that like the sky worked for me. The New York City sky gods came out and they were like, you know what? We're going to give you big, beautiful, like stunning clouds and a perfect blue, which we'd always get here in New York. It could be muggy and gross, but God damn, the sky looked great. This is uh, Midtown Manhattan. I mean, it, it 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 doesn't even look real, and the color is just oh. This is another one of my photo, favorite photos here in Domino Park. Sort of like I love the structure, I love the texture, I love all the shadow lines you get, and yeah, like obviously, like listen, it's a beautiful photo on a camera. Add my little my my little magic to it, uh, and it just it's it's it it's beautiful. It makes me so happy. Okay, so then I took it over to Union Square, uh, a great place to get photos of statue. There's the people, there's the farmer's market going on, there's so much activity. Uh, this is statue here. I love the way these greens are looking, like just, just beautiful. This is next day, so the sky was not as perfect, but still really, really pretty. I mean, just I, the way reds look, the reds and greens in these photos, just I think they, they look absolutely beautiful. And then I took it down to Washington Square Park. This is the arch that's in a park there. I just absolutely, I, 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 I love these photos. I love the camera. Listen, you know, I think a lot of questions I'm beginning like, well, you know, is it, is it worth it to spend all that much money on the camera? No. I mean, listen, the answer is, is, is never worth to spend that much money to take a photo where I do truly think like, listen, you could take any camera and you could get a beautiful photo. But I do think that like, what I have loved about it so far is that shooting experience. It's 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 so good. It feels so good. I like it. I think, you know, it forces me to slow down a little bit when I take photos. And I think when you really slow down and really think about the photos a little bit more, you become a better photographer. So the fact that I have to manually focus everything, I really have to line it up a little more carefully because it's a range finder. I, I, I do find that like those are the things that will just make you a better photographer and just makes me happy taking photos you know at the end of the day that's what it's all about like i barely even share these photos anymore because you know instagram is not the best app anymore for just posting photos but you know to have these photos and to just have that experience of walking around just for hours and hours and hours um have that excuse to really you know be in new york city is means everything to me so thank you guys for coming on this journey <laughs> with me uh you guys seem to like this video so i will definitely be doing more videos with them, you know, like to do these kind of look back at photo videos. So when I travel next time, I go take it out. Maybe we'll do another video that way. Let me know in the comments what you think. And since you're here already, like the video, subscribe, and do all those things. And uh, I will uh, see you guys next time. I'm going to go take, take, take more photos. Hell yeah.